Welcome to this demo of software testing training. This is part one. What is software testing? If you want to contact us, you can visit our website at www.qatrainingexperts.com or email us at contact us at qatrainingexperts.com. All right, welcome. This is the very first part of my training class. Okay. In this part of the training, I'm going to be teaching you why testing is important. What is testing? How do we do it? When do we do it? Um, the first week of training is methodology. And that's to give you the foundation you're going to need to be able to understand the hands-on training, which is in the second week. The entire class takes about four weeks to complete. You know, we can do it in a shorter time frame, but you know, from my experience teaching people over the last seven years, it, it takes about a, a good four weeks. You know, there's a lot of people out there who say, you know, they can train you in two weeks. They'll train you in in everything. They'll help you with a resume. They'll teach you uh, quality center, QTP, load runner. Uh, it's impossible. Okay, I've been in QA for 17 years. It, you're learning a new career. Right? It's going to take a lot of time on your part, a lot of time on my part, to really understand all of the different activities that a tester needs to understand in order to be successful. Right? I mean, if it only took two weeks for someone to get in the door to QA, I mean, everybody would be getting in the door to QA. I have a lot of my students who come to me, my new students, who have taken training from other people and they just have not been able to get a job. And that's mainly because, you know, one, they don't have the knowledge, two, they don't have the confidence. Confidence is so important to get past that interview process. You know, if you're not confident in your knowledge in QA, if you're not confident in how to do QA, and if you're not confident about what's in your resume you're not going to get past the interview you know uh, you can know everything under the sun but if you can't talk successfully about your experience and about your knowledge you'll never get past the interview and so what that's one of my strengths when we get to the last week is to help you with interview training you know taking you through all of the different questions someone could ask you uh, about methodology, about the tools I'm going to be teaching you, about your resume. Um, also, you know, on interviews they ask you a lot of questions that are even outside of all of that. You know, um, a lot of situational questions. You know, tell me about a challenge you had while working on a project and how you overcame it. Um, all of these questions I've captured with answers, and we're going. We'll work together to get you ready to talk the talk. I mean, I, when you look at this, it's kind of split into two things, where we need to teach you how to walk the walk, and then also how to talk the talk. All right, you need both to get to be successful. I mean, QA is a great field to get your foot in the door. Uh, the money that you can make in QA is great. I mean, you can make, most of my students make $35 to $40 an hour, which is seventy to 80000 once they get in the door. And then you, from there, you can go wherever you want to go. I mean, you work with all types of IT people once you're in the door. So, I take a very personal approach to this, to this training. You know, I partner with each person. Sometimes we'll meet as a group. Sometimes we'll just meet one on one. Everyone learns differently, and I've learned that over the course of the years. And I've improved this course over the course of the years to help make things easier for you to understand. So we're going to start very basic. It's going to be very basic. And then as we go through week by week by week, we're going to get more advanced. You know, So this part of methodology is just basic methodology. I have also advanced methodology that I will be teaching you, but you got to learn the basics first, understand the activities and how to do them. And that's what hands-on is all about. And then we'll get into more advanced topics. During hands-on, I'm going to take you through an actual project. You're going to be doing all of the things that a tester does, from planning testing to preparing for testing, execution of testing. 
I teach you how to do it without a tool and then how to do it with a tool and then we'll get into automation All right, so I look forward to really working with you partnering with you so that you are successful I am not successful unless you're successful you know most of you I'm working with probably I'm working and doing job placement once this is all done and I work with people until they are hired because you know, that's one of my guarantees you know, if I can't teach you the knowledge you're never going to get in the door so I'm not I don't think there's anyone out there that guarantees job placement um, again thank you for Again, thank you for choosing my course and letting me train you. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to cover what is software testing, what is the requirement, the costs of software testing versus not doing it at all. We'll talk about why software testing is important. And lastly, we'll talk about why can we not do complete testing. After this lesson, I'll also be giving you some articles that I want you to read and go over to basically reinforce the training that I'm giving you. So throughout the training, I'll be giving you a lot of assignments and articles to read. Again, this is to reinforce all of the subjects that I'm covering. All right, let's get started. What is software testing? Software testing is the process of validating that a new product or changes to an existing product meets the agreed upon requirements. So what does this mean? Okay. Let's first take the word testing. What is testing? You know, when I'm testing something, what am I doing? I'm trying to make sure it works, right? Whether I'm testing, you know, maybe going in and test driving a car I'm making sure that you know it works that it's uh, that it has all the nice features that I'm looking for that the features are working like I want them to work uh, you know whenever we're testing anything we're making sure that it works well let's add the word software to this statement and we are what testing software to make sure it works every company you guys, every company uses software nowadays to do business. You know, you have some companies that sell software, but every company from the manufacturing companies to the oil industry to the food and beverage industry, every single company is run by software. You know, ATMs are run by software. Your com your car is run by software. Uh, planes are run by software. I mean, software really in anything that that has a plug that you plug in the wall more than likely nowadays <clears throat> there's software that controls it so it's so important so important that software gets tested that there's a team of people that make sure before it goes out the door to the business or to the user that that software is going to work and it's going to work like the users or business need it to work in testing, we're usually involved in two types of projects. We're either testing and making sure new software works. This is software that maybe the business just purchased, or maybe uh, a lot of companies develop software themselves to use internally. So this is brand new software. No one has started using it yet. We need to make sure it works before it goes out to all of the users and gets installed other type of project you might be working on is testing older software software that's already in place and they've decided to maybe upgrade it make changes to it um, whenever software is changed it has to be tested it always has to be tested because one of the things we'll talk more about this later is when you go in and change something you run the risk of breaking something else um, probably some of you may have taken your car I know this happens to me a lot taking your car to go get fixed somewhere and you get the car back and they fix the problem but then all of a sudden you got one or two other problems that just popped out of nowhere and this is a lot of times because 
they going in to fix that one problem cause the breaking of something else. Either that or your mechanic is not very good. No, really, seriously though. Um, in software, that's what happens. If you, if they, if the programmers are going in to make a change, it runs the risk of breaking something else. So, whenever a change to software is made, software that's being used, it has to be tested first before those changes are put into what's called production. They're moving those changes in, uh, and they're being implemented in the user's computer. So. You know, before that implementation gets done, it has to be tested. It's so important. In testing, our job is to make sure software works for the business and also for the users that it's going to be given to. Um, it, our job is to make sure, and you may ask yourselves, well, how do we know? what the business needs or what the users needs. That's in this last word in this sentence here. Requirements. Okay. Let's read the whole statement again. Um, software testing is the process of validating that a new product or changes to an existing product meets the agreed upon requirements. Okay. It's got to meet the requirements. What are requirements? Requirements, and we're going to talk a lot about requirements, Requirements document what the software is supposed to do. Requirements are the needs and expectations of the business. Okay. Without requirements, we would know what the business wants that software to do. We wouldn't know what to test. So to a tester, these requirements are so important to us. Okay. This is our main job. Our main job is to make sure requirements have been met to make sure the requirements are working that is one of our main goals of software testing let's move on still with what is software testing software testing is also to ensure software is free from major defects a defect if you don't know a defect is a bug, it's a problem. The software is not doing what it's supposed to do. While we're in there, while we're in testing software to make sure it meets the needs and expectations of the business, and what do we call that? We'll call those requirements, okay? Um, we're gonna run into defects. It's it's what happens in software testing. You know, if we're for example checking uh, an email program to make sure it can send and receive emails well if we find that it can't that's a defect okay so defects and we're going to talk more about defects defects are when the application or, or product is not doing what the requirements state it should do or when we get a bug or error you know when I'm clicking on a button and all of a sudden an error pops up it could just be a bug or error in the code this is our second main goal. You know, really, we have two goals in testing. One, to make sure the requirements have been met and the software is doing everything it should do for the users and the business. And two, we need to flush out the problems. Report those problems to the developers so they can be fixed. Okay, 